All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over some seat repair on a 2010 Toyota Tundra. And these are some leather seats that have some pretty severe wear. Uh, there was a small gash that started here, a little tear, and then it just turned into this massive thing here. It looks like there's another one starting right here. So what I'm gonna first do is go ahead and clean all this seat up here and make this uh, pretty nice. And um, I've got two products that I'm actually gonna be working with. And one of them's the Permatex. It's the Ultra Complete Repair System. I haven't tried this yet, but uh, I've watched a couple people doing some re um, repairs, and seems like this one might be what I'm looking for for this big gash here anyways. And then I also um, found this other company called The Seat Doctors, and um, so basically this, this, this uh, repair kit comes with a mix and match set of colors that uh, there's a there's some little table in here that shows you what you're supposed to mix together and then you kind of guesstimate about the color that your seat is and instead of me doing that i'm just taking the headache out of that i got a hold of this company here and what they do is you can actually match up your your number from your vehicle right here so you see it says ctr so what they are looking for is this second that second series of numbers so like lg13 was my manufacturer's code for the paint here and i was able to match it up with my vin number and find the exact paint um or a dye or whatever so i'm going to go ahead and use this afterwards instead of using this color system here and i'll put a link to both of these where i got these and um if it works out you know feel free to go and get them i'm not sponsored by any of these guys here so this is all just a free tutorial and it's a learning experience for myself and hopefully you guys learn how to do this yourself. All right, so I've already got the uh, piece of fabric underneath here, and then I've got the um, the adhesive and filler placed in there, and then I just patch this little piece. Um, anything that's small like this under a quarter or a half inch or something like that, you don't have to put any of this fabric underneath. And I didn't have any more of the fabric, so what I did was just take a piece of old pair of blue jeans and cut out a little section. I'm gonna stick that under here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my filler in, but might not be so easy because I've got one hand on the camera, so um, I'm going to get that stuffed in there and then I'm going to put some more of this filler in and then let this stuff cure up for four hours. Okay, so I'm, I'm back here. It's been about 18 hours, actually. I was going to come out and check this um, yesterday, but it was getting kind of dark and I didn't want to film in the evening time and it was starting to rain, so anyways, the uh, compound um, and the glue adhesive has had a chance to sit and cure pretty well uh there was a spot i fixed here as well and there was a big 
uh, big piece right here, which I put some blue jeans in, and then this uh, that compound, and it seems to be holding up pretty well right now. I do want to put just a little bit more filler in here. I mean, I, it, it's pretty even in in some sections on the middle, but I still feel just a little bit of a an edge on this, and I'm not sure if my um, die is going to be thick enough to to raise that up level with the seat. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit more filler and adhesive in here and just in a couple of these low spots and then wait for that to cure up. Okay, so I've got a little bit of this dye here, I shook it up. I just got a little bit on the end of here and I'm just gonna dab it on. Kind of wipe it in a little bit. And if you get a little bit on the places where you don't want to just get get your towel wet and wipe it off and you want to wait 20 minutes before you uh put different coats on we'll see uh see how it looks after it dries i know i'm gonna have to probably put another coat on it here but that's actually not looking too too bad right now i mean it's got a bit of a sheen obviously because it's wet but I think that might actually blend in pretty well. I'm not really striving for perfection here. I mean, obviously I want it to, to look nice, but I'm really just going more for functionality here and try not to have this gash extend any further. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes and I'll come back and put another coat on it. <clears throat> and if this doesn't work, I found another option where you can, um, you can basically order, a, it's not a seat cover, I mean, I mean, technically it's a seat cover, I suppose, but it's um, factory factory leather that there's a guy that sews this whole unit. He'll do the back of them. I, I don't know if he does the back of them. He probably does the back of them, but I know that I've seen videos of him replacing the whole bottom cover with, uh, with this factory leather, so... Um, that's another option. I think it was about 130 bucks for that replacement, but that's if you do it yourself. Yeah, so, so far I'm liking the way that it's looking. I mean, it, it's going to obviously dry up to be maybe slightly different looking, but at this point I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, third coat on this. Everything's nice and dry here. Nothing's tacky. Nothing's coming off on the fingers. Okay, here we are. Two days later, everything has uh, set up and cured pretty well. Uh, here was this piece on the end that I had put the blue jeans into, and I, I probably could have put like a little piece of cotton ball or something in behind it just to puff it up a little bit more. And this one piece right here is the only spot that isn't quite level with everything else here. But, I mean, honestly, I think I could probably put a little bit more of the glue in here and then... Um, just re re dye it but that looks pretty good that corner was pretty tough looking um here was that humongous gash the one that was like almost as long as my hand here um what i had done was um taken the dye instead of using the heat and the patch um that came with the um permatex kit I, I had just used the cloth backing, I had used the glue and the adhesive, and then after that adhesive had dried, I had just come in and used the dye on it. I didn't end up using the heat or the little paper sheets that come with it to heat that on. Um, seems like this is doing what I need it to do. So it's nice and dry, nothing's coming off of my hand. Um, that was a really big gash like so in the just uh the directions for the um, seat doctor stuff with this dye after it sets and cures for the two days you're supposed to come in with a cloth and just sort of wipe it 
And I, I think I was a little too abrasive, maybe just on the edges where you can see the glue was kind of peeled up just slightly on, on there, but I'm not too concerned with it. And then I had just taken a, a safety pin and got it hot and then just came through and poked it. I, I took a, a ruler and went across and tried to be as level as I could, but sometimes the needle went in a little too far and you could see some of the holes got a little bigger than the others, but honestly, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, the whole point of that was just to basically get the, the heat and the cold from the seat whenever he activate that to be able to at least come up through this little section here so it's not blocked off. All right, so this is the follow-up video here. This is two months later. I had originally filmed the video, the first one on January 25th. Today is March 27th. And it's had pretty good wear for the most part. Um, I'd say that everything is holding up pretty well. Now you can see the glue is kind of peeling off here a little bit, but I mean, that's pretty good for what that was. If I don't know if you remember, that was the blue jeans underneath there. There's this little, a uh, little bit of glue peeled up off of here, so I'm going to have to repair that. Um, I kind of just scratched that up because it was just not looking how I wanted it. I mean, so far, everything's holding up pretty good. I could probably use a little bit of a touch-up right here. I mean, all of this held up pretty well so far. This is two months. So, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, the color did match for the most part. I think if I were able to like I said, clean this up a lot nicer. It probably would have matched pretty, pretty close, but that's pretty good for me. So yeah, after two months, it's, it's pretty decent. All right. Hope you guys, uh, found this video somewhat useful and you were able to do it yourself and save you a little bit of, uh, cash. All right. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.